Hey guys, did all of you don't know me? I'm Jordy at Carving Fusion, and today we're going to carve this real pumpkin like a pro with these uh, clay sculpting tools. Gotcha. No, you don't. Gotcha. No, you don't. Gotcha. No, you don't. Gotcha. No, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing a real pumpkin carving. I want to first off say this video is inspired by Ryan Cook Carves. He did um, live tutorial pumpkin carving on his YouTube channel uh, last week, so I thought I'd give it a try. I've tried one before, it turned out okay. I don't know how this is going to turn out. This is my second real pumpkin carving. Um, so anyways, these are the tools that I'm going to be using. They're um, uh, like uh, clay sculpting tools. This would be called like a ring tool. You can see I still got the crap on here from my last pumpkin. So you get big ones. You can get this stuff on Amazon, guys. Smaller ones. I got these kind of shaping things. And a uh, potato peeler thing. And to clean it up with this bristle stuff. And you can have a little knife around. This is just like a paring knife or something. And this X-Acto blade. You guys can get these at your dollar store. Okay, so... Um, I'm not too sure how to test qualities of pumpkins. I just knocked on it. it has a good shape so it looks good to me But I did watch a video last night not Ryan Cook, but another uh, pumpkin carver So he said right here this flat spot. This is where the pumpkin laid on the ground like that Okay, so he said where the pumpkin lies on this side or the other side of where the pumpkin lies that might be the thickest part of the pumpkin, and like the thickness, so you get more depth for carving. But anyways, let's stop talking. Let's just start carving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out which piece, I, which shape, side I want to do here, and I'm going to clean it up with this or with this. Okay, guys, so you have to bear with me here. So I chose my side. The pumpkin lies here on this flat side here. So let's uh, see if we can do this uh, side here. You can either use this and you guys this doesn't make that big of a mess I just clean up as I go okay so I'm taking off too much so I'm gonna use this potato peeler here oh and look at that this is just one I got from the dollar store and it comes off a lot thinner too guys I really like I said I really don't have a uh, something planned for this so once once um you know you get going on a piece that's when your mind opens up and anybody can do this guys who cares there's there is no fail in this okay there is no fail and i don't like to all the real pumpkin carving pros i'm sorry i don't know if this was the right tool to use but guess what it was the right tool for me <laughs> okay so we got it all peeled here so we gotta have uh uh eyebrow line and a bottom of the nose line so let's make his uh eyebrow line right here and his uh bottom of the nose line right here these are just cheap amazon tools i got guys you can get good ones okay so there we go so let's um here let's uh use this thing just to draw in a nose here so i do my nose i'll do my nose just kind of like my, how i do my wood spirits right it's just about this is just about having fun and relaxing okay so we got our nose lines drawn on there so let's just um, this is hard to do on camera okay take below the nose out oh let's try eating some of this pumpkin tastes better like that than pumpkin pie so we'll kind of just take some of these cheeks out here. Okay. There guys, like that's how easy you get started on it. You know, we basically have a face there. And you get pumpkins that are stringy like this too. See that? Just kind of when it, when it bites like that, I guess, I don't know, you kind of go the other way. So let's fill out, take out a bit below these eyes here. Not much. I don't know, guys. I do know, but I don't know. Do you know? Take the bridge of the nose down. 
and make it so it's like uh, going that way. So I think the best way for me to do it is this way. Okay. Whew, that was a lot of work. Okay. Big Jordan needs to have a break. So there's our base, guys. You know what I mean? That simple. Okay, guys, so I didn't uh, take this down very deep at all. Okay, so you can see here, you can tell how thin it's getting because you don't want to carve through the pumpkin, right? This, like, this is solid, but look at this. Done. Already done. So I'm going to have to adapt. So what I'm going to do out here is, is carve an eye right out, I guess. Okay, so this is where I'll just use my um, X-Acto blade if I can freaking find it. Okay, so, you know, like... Uh, Negative spaces. So let's try and get this other eye in here now, okay? So what we want to do, I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Okay guys, so um, this side of the pumpkin's a lot stronger, like the pumpkin, than this side. So I cut out this side too, but this is something also that you can do when you got a uh, pumpkin that's not very good and you're not a pro pumpkin carver. You do something like this, watch. You just punch his face in, and there you go. There's your pumpkin carving by Carving Fusion. Have a good day, guys. All right. Okay, so since now we got our pumpkin carved, we got this Brillo stuff. And uh, this is what you use to clean it up. You get rid of all the sharp lines. All right. So you just do this with this stuff. And then you uh, rinse it off. And then you put some bleach on it. And it will preserve the pumpkin. Okay. So don't forget your Brillo, guys, for your pumpkin cleaning stuff. Okay, guys. Just remember the word epic, okay? So this, that would be epic fail. Epic fail.